Right, three. Yep, we're good. Three, two, one, go. All right. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. So, hello everyone. This is uh, Super Mario 64 DS, of course, and this is uh, the 50 star category. Now, there are four other categories for this game. There is one star, which is the any percent category. There is eight star, which is the no eight star door skip category. There is 80 star, which is intended any percent. And there is 150 star, which is 100%. One, I mean, 50 star is, uh, is defined as no rabbit clips. And what rabbit clips are is basically a glitch that kind of breaks the games in a similar way to the LJs in the original, but not really. It's, it's kind of that. And um, yeah. Paradox, do you want to talk a little bit about the characters and yeah? Yeah, uh, so I mean, pretty much in this run, we'll just be using Yoshi and Mario. Um, you start off the game as Yoshi, you don't have a choice there. And then you just switch to Mario as soon as possible. Um, he has faster, faster long jumps and longer long jumps. Um, he can dive, which helps in a lot of places. Uh, he's just generally faster in pretty much everywhere. Mm -hmm. So this run is going to start off uh, with uh, one of the major glitches in this run called Moat Skip, and it's exactly what it sounds like. We're going to be skipping the moat, and overall in the run it's going to be saving two to three minutes. Uh, it is a frame-perfect trick, so um, yeah, it kind of speaks for itself. And yeah. So this cutscene is exactly, I mean, it's twice as long as the original as well. Exactly two minutes. You got it. I think I got pretty lucky there, first try. I used the mash method, which is like, I guess a little bit more inconsistent, but I don't know. I like it. <sighs> On third try. <laughs> nice. You got it? Yep. So that at the beginning of the run, if you get it first try, that saves 20 seconds, and it allows you to bypass the first Bowser, um, so it also saves around another 1 minute 30. Yeah, I mean, funnily enough, we do actually go to Bowser 1 in this category, but we just get the stars there and don't get the key. Saves a bit of time. So in this version as well, um, depending on what star you pick on the star selection screen, uh, the course changes to that specific uh, star layout, I guess you could say. And um, um, yeah, so I, like an yeah. example was like just here. I just selected star five just so I can have the shell to do this star. Yeah. 
This is gonna sound like a complaint, but my R button is dropping inputs like crazy, I swear. Yeah, I swear I'm pressing the R button and it's not long jumping, like a bunch. I don't know if that's just because I'm tired, or if, like, I'm actually... My console is dropping the input. I'm really not sure. Hmm. So, uh, climbing slopes is a bit, a bit different in this version. Um, compared to the original, you would just uh, kick up uh, walls. Uh, in this version, you have to slide kick up, uh, up slopes and such. After getting six fast stars in the basement here, we're just gonna go back to the lobby. Um, basically, the aim early on is just to get six fast, um, sorry, eight fast stars as Yoshi, so that we can go get Mario straight away. So along with some new characters, ooh, oh, uh, hold on, before I start talking again. Okay, so along with new characters, um, there's also changed worlds and uh, changed stars, as long as added worlds to stars. Thank <laughs> you. 
So that was, uh, oh, sorry. No, you go on. Okay. So that was one of the uh, newer, I mean, new uh, worlds that they added to this version compared to the original. And uh, we've gone there for the Mario key, but there's also um, another star that we can get with Mario sort of fast. We're going to go back there. happened to me then is I just got like a glitchy dive. Um, <laughs> if you change your direction like while falling and you go neutral when you have exactly zero speed your dive can be glitched and you'll go backwards instead of forwards. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty rare for it to happen but that's what just happened to me there. She's not gonna risk it this time and just take the damage. Oh, you actually do a different route to me, Ethan? You go straight to uh, once? Uh, no, I kinda forgot because of nerves, but no. I'll go back there <laughs> afterwards. I mean, it's not a big deal, I don't think. Yeah. That's probably the best thing you could have done to recover that. In, uh, in Womp's Fortress, they added this uh, whole other section behind here, and we could use this to um, for the 100 coin star. We can get a we can get a me mega mushroom here. As well. Yahoo! 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 Yaho
Once again, I'm using the uh, going up slopes. There's a way to make this uh, cycle earlier. But you have to be really fast. To... So, uh, there is no uh, cannon list in this version, but there's a way to only use the cannon once, which is just uh, using the, I mean, abusing the slopes once again. Yeah, um, the reason that actually doesn't work in the game is because the star doesn't actually spawn until the ball is hit. Like, it spawns after the animation. So you can't just uh, grab the star through the wall like you can in the N64 version. Uh, so yeah, the camera controls are on the touch screen, uh, for someone that asked that in chat. Uh, it makes it pretty awkward to do, um, especially when you want to do precise stuff. But mm -hmm. yeah, you make it work somehow. Yeah. It's actually particularly hard um, if you try running this game on VC. Uh, the game was just released pretty recently on Wii U VC. And they put the touchscreen so far away from the edge that using the camera controls is like nearly impossible. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Uh, one big thing that you'll actually see, uh, one big difference that you'll see in speedrunning this game compared to N64, uh, we don't really dive much at all, whereas that's used like pretty much everywhere on N64. Uh, that's pretty much because diving on this game is the same speed as walking. So yeah. we try to long jump wherever we can. So yeah, pretty much the main use of dives is to gain extra height. Uh, the diving in this game is kind of buggy in that sense. It just mm -hmm. kind of forces you up, whether you're like falling up or down or whatever. Uh, the tech skip in this game actually works kind of different as well. You have to stay on the switch for a lot longer. Uh, it makes it a little harder to judge. So once again, we'll be exiting course here after we get the two stars because we already have the basement unlocked. You'll also be seeing Mario's new power up here that allows him to float. You can float up all the way to the um, other coin as well up there, but fortunately I got it. So yeah, we uh, just got the two stars there. Uh, we have no reason to get the key because we can go into the moat or go outside the castle and in through the moat door. Oh yeah, um, so on the, uh, I don't know what it's on, 
like the haunted books are, they actually put a glass wall there. Um, on N64, you can just jump straight across, but you actually have to do the pretty much legit method on the S. So we'll be getting two stars here, and um, after we get the second star, we're going to be, uh, I guess, save warping, because it's faster to get the basement that way. Yeah, no problem. So that uh, bo boo um, launches the same direction you're facing. So it's better just to wait just a tiny bit so he comes towards you and you can knock him into the wall. So on the, uh, the other uh, Volcano Star, we're going to be abusing the, uh, the triple jump dive because the dive gives you extra that extra height and yeah.
Yeah, a uh, nice little thing on the silver stars right there. Uh, when you're riding a shell and you grab the stars, you skip a small animation. It uh, saves a couple of seconds each time. So in HMC, we're going to be using uh, the Wario Cap for one of the stars, and that's a, a nice feature in this game where some stars in the stars collection screen spawn uh, certain caps for certain characters, and picking it up allows you to become the character for a certain, I mean, until you get hit. so we can use Mario's higher triple jump to get back up to here and get started. That star can still be fun in the as well. It's not as bad as in Sakura, but it can be.
hit the second jump in a different position. Ah. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and the the second jump is like frame perfect. So it's like a frame perfect input that is not the same every time. It's pretty stupid. Yeah, so I have a pretty bad rep for uh, Bowser Bros and Mac, you know. That didn't really help it. Uh, I'm trying to try get the help. So I kind of messed up the cycle here, so I kind of have I kind of have to take this a bit slower. So, um, yeah. So you can actually grab Bowser's tail before he hits the ground by timing a side flip and a dive, just like that. Try a miracle. I wasn't planning to. Um, we'll see. I wouldn't even know what to switch it out for now, though. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to go for it, like briefly? Or? Um, I'll, I'll go for it a couple of times. Okay. But, uh, it's yeah. probably not a great idea, but. For those wondering what mirror clip is, basically, um, you need Luigi's power up, which makes him invisible, to go through the mirror. Um, but doing a certain trick that is uh, that is really hard to do, um, you can actually go through the mirror um, as Mario. If I remember correctly, there's one in sixty-five thousand angles. That work. Uh, no, there's a few more. It's. I think it's about 10 of them, roughly. Well, uh, but I mean, that's still, like... Considering yeah. that all you've got to work with is if you need to get these angles, it's pretty difficult.
I guess the slowest one to skip would be TTM Reds, maybe. If we're doing Mirror Clip, we're giving it a go. Uh, Do you think? Probably. Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go for that star anyway. If yeah, I'd, I'll, I'll probably skip something in. I guess um, SL. Awful to skip. Yeah. Yeah, basically this trick that we're on about that's like super precise. Uh, it can save probably around 20 to 25 seconds. But it's not really a feasible thing to do in RTA attempts. Mm -hmm. But we're just kind of like going in for it for fun. Uh, you can't actually get the, uh, what's known as the Breezy Star in SM64 speedrunning. Uh, as Mario, there's actually a cage on the front. I mean, you can, but you have to go through the whole select process. Uh, in speedruns, when we get Luigi, so an 80 star, uh, we use his invisibility to go through it. So yeah, basically the amount of time I spent on it right now is going to make it not worth it. Uh, I might just give up on it. But basically, if you get like the extremely precise angle, you can clip through the mirror right there. I... Yeah, it's not really like smart things. I got it. I got mirror clip. You really? <laughs> yeah, I got mirror clips I could try. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Dang. Okay. I mean, you're right? Yeah. Right? yeah. I'll probably skip the um, snowman's head star, probably. Ooh.
So there's um, another big glitch coming up uh, at the end of, end of the run here. Uh, it's called Endless Stair Skip, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, we're going to be doing something kind of similar to Mode Skip in a way, where we're going to um, either be sent up or down. And if, we, if we're sent down, we void, and we're sent back outside the uh, castle. And if we get sent up, then we can position Mario at the top of the staircase. So we just need a specific angle, and then we can slide kick into this corner, and we'll be sent outside of, I mean, out of bounds. Got it. So I just have to position Mario at the top. Yeah, this is a really close race. I'm just pulling down right now to... Uh, I don't know if I got to the top of the staircase. Oh, made it, okay. I thought I missed it. <laughs> Just gotta find the loading zone. Right. Nice. Alright. For some reason I'm being dumb and can't find the loading zone. I missed the uh, triple jump dive and died. Oh well. Oh, that sucks. oh man. Yeah, it's happening again. That was the phrase that was getting me. Yep, same here. <laughs> Which throw are you on? I'm on, uh, I've done one throw so far. Okay. I'm on the final one right now. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Nice. Yeah, maybe now I'm half back for a marathon run. Thanks for this, I think. I could die here, I'm just saying. It's alright, you can't do any worse than me last time. Well, we drink that one <laughs> Okay, I died. Okay. Yep. Oh well. He charged at me, man. Alright. Well, it was a close race up until that point. Yeah, that was a really interesting game. Okay. Yeah, Bowser's tail hitbox is really fidgy in this version.
Oh, I'm, I'm channeling my inner paradox right now. So yeah, uh, what I just did for fun there is you can crash the game by self resetting as you load the versus screen, and then okay, that's one. That's fine. Yeah, and then you can uh, bring up a debug screen from it. That's two. All right. Did you get it? Yep, got it. Good job. Thanks. And time. Yeah. Nice. Good. Oh, what was the uh, time on that? Uh, 54, 40 ish. I guess it's kind of hard to tell with stream delay. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice. Well, GG. GG. Yeah. I I expect the uh, I expect to see world record from you in a few weeks. Mhm. Mm it's gonna happen. I saw your tweet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Do you want to yeah. say goodbye? Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope yeah. you enjoyed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone spam Thief Bug on Twitter and wherever. Get him to come do his run right now. Yeah.